What's going on guys, Captain Carter here. We are back in the kitchen today. I've got my lovely wife behind the camera helping me record. Uh, today we're gonna do a quick video on showing you how to make some really good ceviche. This is my version of it. This is how I do it. This is what we're gonna be working with. I've got some uh, beeliner fillets or vermilion snapper fillets here. I'm also gonna take the red off. And uh, you can also do this with trigger fish or grouper or any other kind of snapper. This is just what I had. Any kind of white flaky meat. You're gonna need a bowl. Tomato, uh, yellow onion, red onion, some peppers, green onion, measuring cup, and of course your slap chop, just to make uh, things a little easier and quicker. Some jalapeno slices, if you want it a little spicy. Some uh, orange juice, no pulp, lemon juice, lime juice, and you make a love altar. No, I'm just kidding, you don't need that. Uh, some oil, pepper, salt, Tony Satchery's, and a knife to cut up your fish. Let's get it. All right guys, so first thing first, we're gonna take the red off these fillets and then we're gonna cut them in small pieces and you want all the pieces to be about the same size so that the lemon juice and the lime and orange juice cook it thoroughly. So we're gonna start by doing that. All right, so here we got our small cut up pieces. You can tell I missed a little bit of red, but that's not gonna, that's not gonna fake anything. So we're gonna get all this, we're gonna put it in a bowl. Okay, let's move over here. We're gonna get our measuring cup, grab some orange juice. We're gonna put one cup of orange juice. We'll put a little more, it won't hurt. All right. Then you're gonna put half a cup of lemon juice. And then we're gonna put, you know, close to a quarter of lime juice in there. All right. Get a spoon, mix that around. In case you didn't know, this is very acidic and this is what actually cooks the fish. So it's not raw fish for people who are Thinking it is. All right, so we're gonna pour that on the fish. Just get it covered up. Mix that around. And then we're gonna let that sit in the fridge for about an hour. Okay, so uh, next step, we're gonna start cutting up all the vegetables. Same principle as with the fish, you're gonna cut it in really small pieces. All right, so I just pulled the fish out. We had it in there for uh, about an hour. We got all our vegetables and stuff that we cut up in small pieces. So now we're gonna mix this all together in one big bowl. So we'll put the fish in there. We're gonna put all this good stuff. And then we're gonna pour what we had left of our uh, orange juice, lemon juice, and lime juice. We're gonna pour that on top. Get that onion piece out. And we're just gonna mix that around. All 
All right, so now we're gonna put it back in the fridge and I, I'm gonna let it sit overnight. Normally it would be done in a couple hours, but I like to just let mine sit overnight. One last thing, before we put it in the fridge, I'm gonna put, put some tin foil over top. Just so it won't get dried up. All right, so this is the next morning. We've got the speech aid right here. You can see how that fish has uh, turned white. So it's pretty much cooked. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour some of this juice out because we don't need all this. I like to use my hands, not a strainer, so that uh, the little pieces of onion and green onion don't strain out. So you can leave a little bit of juice in there. It's not gonna hurt. So now we're gonna start adding some oil, just a little bit, not too much. Gonna put some salt and pepper. And some Tony Satchers. I like to add a little kick to mine. Mix all that up. And there you go, that is some snapper ceviche. Serve it with some chips. And that's some good stuff. So if y'all like this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe for some more. We'll see you back.